morning everybody I hope you guys all had a good weekend it's Monday morning here in the UK we've got somewhat clear skies so that's that's nice for a change um, I thought I'd come on and share with you um, my entry for Angela Kerr here on YouTube I'll put her link in the description box Angela is doing a giveaway journal for her subscribers and again she's doing a friendship journal so I wanted to enter um, and so this is my entry to Angela's um, contest so Angela likes a lot of pastels as I do so I'm hoping that that she's gonna like this when she receives it um, what I've done is on the front here I've made a little pocket here and included um, these are Artie Mays designs a couple of these little and then this is a little tag I had in my stash and then here I've just added this little card and I've attached some uh, fabric and some linen thread there's some um, French lace here and then some um, just some strips of muslin I've torn there. Did some stitching around this. And then inside here, <clears throat> I've created a pocket back here. And then this card, I know Angela likes nature, so I wanted to put some butterflies in. And all of these are dimensional so that you can lift those up. Did some stenciling behind here. This is a Prima stencil that I recently picked up when I was back in the U.S. at Hobby Lobby, and I love it. It's like a doily design, so I did some stenciling back here. And then just some old trim here that I've stitched to this tag. I've just tucked that behind because I love to see the butterflies. And then here I've made like a double pocket, um, and I lined this one with some more of the beautiful papers. Um, I just thought that was pretty to peek through. And then I've got this little postcard that I've done some fussy cutting on. So she can do some journaling back there. And there's more room to add uh, more items. I didn't want it to get too bulky because I'm sure she's going to have a lot of entries. And then here I've just made this little tuck spot. And the paper's been backed with, um, you know, the shipping paper, the shipping craft paper. And then I've tucked this little uh, card in here. In fact, I'll put that up. That's a little bit difficult to get out. And then on this page, I've just added, um, I had leftover scraps. Let me just share with you guys. You know, sometimes when you're cutting um, your journal, sometimes when you, you're doing your journal pages, you need to trim them down depending on the size. And I always have these left over. So I just keep gathering them until I've got a stack and you can see it's about that time and then I just make fabric ruffles out or I mean not fabric paper ruffles I just run them through the machine um, and then I just attach some um, eyelash trim and some other lace from my stash and a little brad there with the vintage uh, shabby chic clock um, because I, I thought the colors would be what Angela would like and then I made a pocket here and I just doubled everything up so it's actually ended up being four layers so that it's really sturdy. Um, and then I just tucked in a couple more things from my stash and I'm hoping, you know, maybe there's something different to what Angela has because um, it's nice when you can get something that maybe you don't have in your own stash is what I'm hoping. And then on the back here, I've made a tuck spot, and then I just tuck this in so that she'd have some extra writing space. It's just a really simple little journal with some leftover. This is all vintage um, paper that I picked up from a French seller at uh, one of the flea markets. So I've just put in bits and pieces there. It's very simply done. And then this is Edith Holden. I know Angela loves Edith Holden. So that's just tucked in there. She can remove that and add other items, but I just wanted to add something that had a bit more writing space um, in case she did want to write something. And then the only thing I've got left to do now is stamp. I've got to stamp my um, Firefly on here so she'll know it's for me. And then that is going to be in the mail to Angela. 
So I hope she enjoys it. And for any of you who are um, participating in my friendship journal, this is what we're talking about, you know, with a, with a page entry. It doesn't have to be, you know, done exactly as mine, but this is just an example. I was going to link um, um, Char Fisher her channel, but she's removed all of hers, so um, I didn't, I couldn't find anybody else. So this is just an, another example of, you know, how you could do your page. It doesn't have to be this many elements, so please don't be intimidated by that. But, um, anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I hope Angela's gonna like it. Um, I'm super excited for her. I can't wait to see her journal. I know she's gonna have some amazing entries. Um, so you guys check out her channel, and if you want to participate, I believe hers is open um, sometime in late March, if I'm not mistaken, so you could jump in and join hers as well. So anyways, you guys take care, and I'll be back soon. Bye.